don't care if you have a six pack, if you have a Mercedes, if you go to JMSB School of Business, um, if you are rich, if you're hot, if you're tall, if you're this, if you're that. Right, so as I said, I was going to wash my hair and I was going to do my makeup for a freaking Instagram post because I haven't been posting any makeup stuff. Um, I did. After like an hour, I'm done both. So this is what my makeup looks like and I just kind of waved slash curled my hair. But yeah. So uh, I still haven't taken the pictures. I have to do that after this video because I'm doing two lip options. So that's why I'm doing it after. So anyways, I just wanted to... Um, Talk about the relationship thing. So, I don't really, I don't even really know how to like go about this, like how to introduce this topic. But I just want to talk to you guys about relationships because, as some of you may know, I do have really horrible date stories. Okay, like if you know me in my life, you know, you know that um, I used to go on some really weird dates. <laughs> if I give you like a backstory of my relationships and stuff. Uh, I was in two major relationships, one was like from when I was in high school and then one was this year. So anyways, um, like what I say is not regarding those two people, it's just, well, kind of. But those of you who don't know, I am 22 years old, going on 23 um, in May. So it's just kind of like a why I'm single and I will be until... I find what I want. I think a lot of people are gonna be able to relate to this, I mean especially girls. Um, whereas like what's lacking in a lot of the men that I've dated. So <laughs> I talk about this like I've dated so many men, <laughs> which is not the case but I mean just in general like not even that I dated but like that I've spoken to, you know. like. First of all, there's so many trashy men out there that really um, get our focus away from the actual good men that are out there because I'm not one of those girls that's like, men are freaking trash. Like, some men are, but I feel like there are so many and those that are like that are so inten intense that it takes away from the fact that there are actually good men out there. And what I have noticed most is a lack of effort. I mean, you know, I'm not asking you to bring me to a fancy restaurant. This piece of hair is annoying me. Like, I'm not asking you to bring me to some fancy restaurant and, you know, like, pay for me and, like, shh come and pick me up with a fancy car like that's not the kind of effort I'm looking for like what I care about is the effort that you put into the conversation that we're having about the relationship friendship whatever that we're having that's leading to something more or something else okay like I've noticed a lot of dudes for example on Instagram and stuff you know, which is why social media, I mean, is great, but under certain aspects has made dating completely different because men don't have to go up to girls anymore, like at a cafe or at freaking Walmart or at school and actually make effort to talk to them and ask them out properly. Now it's like you see a girl you find pretty on Instagram, you follow her or you DM her and like maybe she'll answer and if she does, well, you know, like you can talk and then it leads up to a date. So I feel like the, the fact that men don't have to put in that effort as to like meeting the girl already makes them feel like taking you for granted because there's just so many other girls that the, the guy can DM, you know, um, which sucks because it's all about like having choice, you know, about having like, you know, if it doesn't work out with this girl or if, if like, it's too difficult with this girl and she doesn't want to uh, like go out on a date with me tonight or tomorrow night even though I just spoke to her this morning I'm just gonna ask some other girl you know what I mean like before it wasn't like that before it's like well uh, I went up to this girl and she said no and you know it's I feel like you were guys were more butthurt and they thought more about what they were trying to say 
And how they were gonna say it in order to get the girl to say yes, I will give you my phone number. Whereas now it's not like that, you know? But, I mean, you know, it's, it's not an excuse because you can DM somebody and be really respectful. You can have a, a relationship start from a social network and still keep in mind that that's a human being behind the phone you're texting, okay? And I find that, first of all, a lot of guys are freaking nasty, okay? But I mean, that's not you. I'm not teaching you this today. <laughs> but the lack of effort is really like in lack of conversation. I'm somebody who really likes to talk. And I think you can definitely see this um, through my vlogs and through like if you follow me on, on Snapchat and stuff like that. I always go on these like weird rants about things that happen and things that upset me. But, you know, it's like if I cannot talk to you and have fun talking, um, even by freaking DM or, or iMessage, I don't care if you have a six pack, if you have a Mercedes, if you go to JMSB School of Business, um, if you are rich, if you're hot, if you're tall, if you're this, if you're that. If your conversation, if you're having a hard time keeping a conversation going about like, how are you? I'm good. How are you? This and that. Um, and like, you know, just like, so what do you do in life? Oh, that's great. This and that. And then continuing to like, you know, once the small talk is done, just continuing to wanting to get to know the girl. I'm not fucking interested in somebody asking me, so what are you doing? I'm going to be like, oh, you know, I'm studying home. And then he answers like, Oh, and I'm like, you nothing. You know, it's like, that's a lack of effort. And I feel like a lot of guys, that's just what's, what's going on with them. You know, and it's like, they just don't try. And if you don't try, well, you're not gonna succeed. Uh, especially with me. So, lack of um, effort. And lack of communication skills, which links to pretty much what I was talking about so this doesn't have anything necessarily to do with like first uh, like ap approaching somebody this is more like when you're dating the person and you have an issue okay which this is also something that I'm like what the hell okay uh, there's so much stuff on social media about like if somebody makes a mistake, oh, dump them. Oh, this, oh, that. Like, I'm not talking about, like, the guy cheats on you and you should stay. I'm talking about, like, you have a big fight and things on both sides are said and maybe you both were mad and you should talk it out. I feel like on social media, there's, like, this whole, like, thank you next kind of culture, which, I mean, I'm all for, don't get me wrong. Like, if somebody isn't treating you right, like, get yourself somebody else or just be by yourself, you know? That's that's obviously, uh, I am obviously in favor of that. But I feel like a lot of people are just like, oh, there's something wrong in my relationship, um, bye. And that's just taking the easy way out. So anyways, that's a side note. But what I was trying to say is that there are so many um, like people that are have a hard time communicating. So, you know, like... For example, um, you have a fight and you want to talk about it and it works out. But as soon as you hurt a freaking guy's ego, forget it. Of this generation, forget it. Uh, like, I don't understand. It's like they all of a sudden forget that you were ever important to them, that you were ever a part of their life, that they cared for you at some point, and I'm sure they still do. And it's like they just close up and they become this new person that's like, I don't care. I'm going to play games. I'm not going to answer you. Um, I'm, and if I answer, I'm going to answer like three days later because I'm so busy, you know. And I just think that that sucks so much because you're trying to talk to them. Maybe you realize that, you know, sometimes you, you, you like... Girls make mistakes too, it's not just guys that mess up. But you know, like if you had a big argument and stuff like that, and then you, you, wanna, you wanna take it back, you wanna be like, you know what, I didn't mean that. Like if a guy, a lot of guys like do end up saying that, they're like, no, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it, and like, 
for example, for me, at the beginning, I'm like, no, I don't want to know anything about you. Get out of my face, this and that. And I think about it, and I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, like, a chance is a chance, and, like, you, everybody's human, we all make mistakes. But with guys, it's like, you make one dumb mistake, and it's, like, done. Like, they cheat on you, for example, okay? And they expect that you're going to just take them back because, you know, they didn't mean it. But that's a big deal. But, uh, for example, you just, you, 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 you have a stupid argument, you have a fight, whatever, you say something, you didn't, you, you, you act a certain way or like, you know, but that this is, it didn't, does not involve cheating or anything. All of a sudden, they are closed for the holidays. It's like, they don't want to talk to you, they give you attitude, they answer with an emoji. And it's like, dude, this is a lack of communication and you're not going to get anywhere if you're like that. Like, you cannot be in a mature relationship and act like that. That's not how you solve a problem, you know? And it's also, which brings me to my next point, a big lack of respect. Because if I am trying to talk to you, and, like, I'm not just some girl that you met at a club one night, and, you know, you had a couple dances, and now she's harassing you, okay? I'm a girl you were in a relationship with, and now it's like you have such a hard time just being honest, you know? And it's like, if you don't want to give the person a chance, or if, you know, you're like, I'm done, just say it. There's nothing wrong. Like, I'm going to get butt hurt, whatever, if I have to. But be honest. Be like, yeah, you know, like, I'm not done. Instead, no. You have to play games. People have to play games, and they have to play with your head. And it's like... Just to get the person to, to communicate with you is very difficult. And I feel like this is very um, people my age. And I feel like sometimes you really have to stop and think, what is this person bringing me in life? Like, are they making me happy? Or are they just creating a problem that I shouldn't really be dealing with and I feel like once you have the courage to answer that question for yourself things get a bit easier and a bit clearer because I until I find somebody that wants to stick with me literally for better and for worse to respect me in every sense of the word this means not talking to anybody else behind my back or even like just in my face because sometimes they, they do that and they think it's okay. Respecting me for who I am. Acknowledging the fact that a relationship takes effort. And until I find somebody that can be my best friend with whom I can talk about anything and with whom there is flow, with whom there is a connection that is way deeper than looks, then I'm going to stay single. I have people in my life that have, they, they, they think it's okay to just pick at your problems and be like, oh, this is why you're single, you know? I, I know why you're single, it's because this, 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 and this. I was told, like, not <laughs> freaking this week, um, like, somebody called me up and we, we were talking about this, and, she, and he was like, oh yeah, but you're single because you are a cold person, because you don't like affection. Okay, but were you ever my boyfriend? You know? Oh, it's because you say what you think, that's why you're single. What? You have a very strong personality, uh, you're single because you say things you shouldn't say. I help myself sometimes in a relationship. I get cold feet a lot. <laughs> like, a lot, you know? And I do take full responsibility for that. And I annoy my own self with that. This doesn't make me a bad person. This doesn't make me somebody who isn't willing to work at a relationship. This doesn't make me someone that does not realize their mistakes. And this does not make me someone who is unable to communicate. 
because if I'm doubting, maybe there is a reason why. And sometimes people forget that. As soon as you break up with somebody, you're the bad person. Even if they're the, per they're the ones who did something bad to you, it, that's forgotten. It's like, you're the one who broke up, so you're the bitch. What is this logic? They go and talk with their boys and they're like, oh my gosh, she broke up with me, this and that. And they're like, oh my gosh, she's such a... this. Like, come on, okay? How about you say, you know what, she broke up with me. Uh, maybe I did something wrong. Forgetting that you may have part of the blame, which also makes you immature. So I don't, I don't really come across people who are willing to work at things who are serious and who have good communication skills because without communication you have nothing like nothing I got asked to make a video about my bad dates which I think I will do uh, probably in like a few days just for another episode of vlogmas but today I just wanted to like touch upon some points as to why the hell I'm single not saying that like I'm so pretty, why am I single? But because I do, you know, with people that are my friends and like people that I know, I do share these dating stories and sometimes it just, it looks like it's like I'm always single, you know, I'm always the single one and people are like, yeah, well you go on dates and like, is it really possible that none work out for you, that you never find somebody who has potential? So this is more what like inspired my <laughs> Um, thinking behind doing this video and also because of what um, of the conversations I ha conversations I had this week about why you're single and I think it's because of this I think it's because of that and it's like people just freaking forget that they're not in your couple they're just not you know me on a friend basis and that's really different because with my friends I'm completely different than I would be with my boyfriend obviously I hope you had a great day and thank you so much for watching uh, let me know down below if you like these kind of talks about relationships and things like that you know I don't just want to talk about makeup and stuff I mean I love makeup but I do have opinions about other things um, so if you have any questions or requests or just comments about things that you heard in the video that you agree with or not really leave them in the comments down below and I will answer them in tomorrow's video maybe or just um, in the comment section so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow bye